research on the uh, populations of Throphocyte genus Iscnaculus occurring uh, in, in the Arabian Peninsula basically started in 2013 when uh, Dutch wildlife photographer Priscilla van Andel and uh, her husband uh, came upon some specimens in United Arab Emirates and uh, photographed them and uh, sent these photos to, to the renowned uh, tarantula expert Rick West in Canada. Then, then he encouraged them to publish a small natural history note in a local journal about their observation. And uh, this paper was published in 2014 which noted the occurrence of, of this genus and, and Tarafocytes basically for the first time in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, after that publication, more and more attention was, uh, was gained by these by this spiders in, in, this, in this region. And uh, basically a project was formed and, uh, and over the years uh, more and more people who had either um, collected these spiders in the region or were studying them simultaneously were added to this, to this project. The list of uh, collaborators includes uh, uh, Jose Guadonucci and his student Vivian Montemor, Rick West, Majid Muradmant, myself, Ingo Wendt, Siegfried Huber and Volker Wonworth. So over the years since 2013 we managed to acquire a huge amount of specimens uh, collected in Arabian Peninsula and southern Iran and uh, we were able to conduct a taxonomic uh, revision of this group in this, in this region. As a result of our study, uh, we found out that uh, contrary to what we believed, what, uh, in the beginning at least, that uh, the populations of this genus in United Arab Emirates, would, we thought that they would belong to a distinct, previously undescribed species. But uh, we found out that it actually belongs to Isknaculus yekeli, species previously known from Africa and, and Yemen. In the material that we studied, uh, we noted that there were two clearly different uh, color patterns, in which could have been an indication of, of these populations belonging to, to different species. So one color pattern had this uh, very beautiful iridescent blue sita on the legs and on the pedipalps and also had a relatively dark carapace while other populations had these uh, they have more clear sita and also a golden carapace but a detailed study under, under copulatory organs indicated that there was no difference whatsoever in the, in the shape of their copulatory organs and they were uh, at the end they were both identified as Isknaculus yekeli but with different color patterns. But uh, we managed to, to detect a truly undescribed species in, in the bulk of material from Oman and southern Iran which was named after uh, Mrs. Van Andel who basically initiated the project and uh, it was because of her photographs it, in the United Arab Emirates that this project was, was started. And uh, this species was named Isknaculus von Andele. So our research was finally published online in the journal Zoology in the Middle East in uh, 2019. And uh, as a result of this paper, this genus now includes eight valid species which are distributed in Africa, some parts of uh, Iberian Peninsula and then extending into Eastern Mediterranean and then all the way in Arabian Peninsula and finally reaching their easternmost limit in, in southeastern Iran. The interesting distribution of these spiders in Arabian Peninsula and southern Iran also Africa uh, enabled us to propose a potential hypothesis for their way of dispersal in this in this region. 
the uh, establishment of, of land connections between Afro-Arabia and Eurasia, which started in, in early Miocene, almost started and took, and took place simultaneously with the, with the opening of, of the Red Sea. In late Miocene, there was a, a, a land bridge of very savanna connecting Arabian Peninsula with, with Southern Iranian Palatu, which might have enabled the, the exchange of, of xerophilic taxa between, between these two regions. And this was done before the final loading of, of the Persian Gulf in about 18,000 years ago. And uh, based on this, on this scenario and this, on this hypothesis, these land bridges could have probably played an, a very important role in the distribution and dispersal of, of Esknopolis Vanandale and Esknopolis Yekeli in this, in this region.